Um, it is Friday evening, and I'm about to go thrifting. So, um, my partner suggested that I start trying to do some vlogs instead of just kind of freaking out about doing videos, because I still want to do them. I just freak out. Um, so I think that's a great idea, and thank you, James. Um, so, yeah, let's go thrifting. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but Pike's Peak already has snow on the, or on the, well, peak. Oh, that's so exciting. which is not the best but I ended up finding some winter clothes that I wanted for a while and then a couple of really cool girls that I normally get in the car. Okay. It's just difficult to see everything right now. That's much better. <laughs> yeah so um, I spent 50 um, on clothes, one piece of fabric, several patterns and two bagged dolls which um yeah i'll talk about more later but uh the dolls were ones i will i was i've been looking for for a while so that's why i didn't pass them up i'm gonna do one more and then i'm gonna head home oh boy <laughs> okay don't mind the mess everywhere um, I went, so I'm back from thrifting now, and I'll do a little haul. Um, I think I'll start with the clothes, and then, um, insert some try-on clips. Um, I don't think they'll all fit me, but I really liked the fabric or the texture or something like that, so even if they don't, either I'll sell them or figure something else out, or repurpose them. So, uh... First up is this adorable um, turtleneck sweater, um, which feels like 100% cotton, and it's long-sleeved, um, seems kind of cropped a little, um, and the sunshine yellow just made me smile. Um, I definitely deal with seasonal dep depressive disorder, and um, I found that sunshine yellow type things um really help brighten my mood um during the dark months uh so i'm hoping that this will turn to be turn out to be one of those things okay. um next thing is this hooded henley long sleeve shirt um i really liked the crisscross um, binding detail. The only thing I'm not too crazy about is the print on the side here, but it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I really wanted a Henley type thing and this looked cozy. It felt good. It's 100% cotton. Um, so I'm hoping that it will fulfill my 
Desire for Henry type sweater. Sip my wine. The last item of clothing I got from the first thrift store was this um, Ralph Lauren rugby wool skirt, which I, as much as I want to see wool stuff in thrift stores, I don't see it that often. Um, the lining, of course, isn't, but I thought it was quite beautiful, and um, if I don't want to keep it because it's not quite as full as I'd like it to be, um, then I'll, I'll probably, I might sell it, uh, so, yeah, uh, but it's also a size 6, which, or size 8, so it possibly should fit, um, and that was a cool find. There we go. Okay, and moving on to the next store. I only went to two. I found this wool dress. 100% wool dress. Which looks like it's from the 80s. Um, has padded shoulders. Um, buttons all the way down. 100% wool. Um, by Maggie London. Um, so, <laughs> I was pretty thrilled to find this. It has wonderful pockets as well so, or, okay they're not wonderful pockets but has pockets so um i'm excited to see if it'll fit um i don't have any wool dresses and i mean oh god this sound is probably gonna stink oh well um since moving up to the mountains or well near the mountains where in the springs um but since moving up here um I'm ho and the air being drier, I hope that it just, I don't know, I'll have more opportunity to wear those things. Now, I don't know if this will, this next item will fit me, um, but it's this cotton sweater, cable sweater, turtleneck, um, cropped. It's a size small, so I don't know if it's going to fit me. I usually fit um, mediums, women's mediums better on the shoulders because I'm broad shouldered, but it's, I love this this dark charcoal gray color and how good and heavy it feels so I want to try it if it doesn't work I will we'll sell it but it's I, I would love to wear it if I could so um next item is this acrylic um vest from National uh and I very much just liked the knit details all along the sides of the pockets. It does have a stain on the right side, so I'm hoping that will come out. Um, if not, then I'll have to figure out something creative. Um, but I really wanted a knitted vest. For some reason, that paired with a collared shirt just feels really cozy to me, so I'm hoping it'll work out. Um, Two more things, two more clothing items. Um, there's this cotton sort of Henley t-shirt. It's a bit long, as you can see, so I might crop it. Um, but I love burgundy. I love the longer sleeve, the slightly longer sleeve, like the three-quarter sleeve. Um, I just feel like it would be a good layering piece, and it feels like cotton. <laughs> it doesn't have a tag on it. I don't know where it's from, um, but it looks cool, so I got it. So my favorite clothing item that I probably got, which is saying something, is this freaking snowsuit. <laughs> um, has a ton of embroidered details all over it. Um, hooded, it's from, I don't even know what brand it's from. It looks like it's more vintage though, the tags are definitely older. Um, but I'm honestly thrilled with it. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Okay. So it's HCC Nature and Liberty, which I haven't heard of, but I need a snowsuit. I don't have any snow pants or anything, so I'm really excited about this. And it's a medium, so I'm really hoping that will actually fit. And I'm not going to put that on my desk because it's crowded enough as it is. Okay. Um...
Now I think I'll just show the one piece of fabric that I got and then I'll move on to patterns. Um, so this feels like cotton. I'll test it with a flame test. Um, but I really liked the sort of flower, mini micro flower print. Um, and I've been trying to get more into natural colors, um, although it's also for my dolls, like doll clothing. So I don't know if I'll actually use this for clothing for me, but um, I love it when I can find micro prints and in natural materials. So, and it was a dollar, so I'll take it. Um, I think I got four patterns. Yes. Okay. Um, this first one is um, a beautiful vintage swimsuit. Um, I wanted to make one like this for a long time, and it seems like it's going to be in my size. Um, so I'm excited to give it a shot. It was a dollar. So I'm really happy to be able to find vintage patterns um, at thrift stores. Um, this next one is, is quite similar to several pieces of, um, several patterns that I already have, but I like the entire ensemble, and it's Vogue French Boutique, very, not in great condition, at least the envelope isn't, but I love this very full skirt, it comes with the jacket and the pants, um, so the whole look was awesome, and I would love to make it, so... That's why I bought that one. It's also a dollar. Um, this next one is a satiny nightgown with a robe. I really want to make something out of silk. I have some silk remnants that I've picked up over the years, and I figure this would be a great way to use it. I'm not sure. I might have to do go with some with the shorter one because I don't have that much silk, but. We'll see. Um, honestly, my dream nightgown is the one that Kira Knightley wears as Elizabeth Swan in Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, I would love to make that nightgown and that robe, um, but I need to just work up to it first. And then this last one is uh, Vogue Patterns, um, tra a pair of high-waisted trousers, um, which I don't find high-waisted pants or anything really enough for me. Um, so I, and I really like the slightly wide leg, but I guess it's just a straight leg, but, um, I like the look, I would love to make, to make it, so. Those are the patterns that I got. And now, I think, I only have, oh, no, I lied. Okay, I did get a little more fabric, I forgot. So, um, I got a bag with two scraps of fabric in here. I mainly got it for this gingerbread print. Um, I've been collecting Christmas type patterns for a little while now. Oh, it has more than one. I got more than I bargained for. Um, I've been collecting um, small cotton, Christmas cottons for a little bit now. Um, I just want to make some Christmas decorations, some doll outfits. Um, just kind of adds a hopefully a festive feel here um, for the holidays. Um, so I, I wanted this one specifically, um, but I also ended up getting this, uh, I guess, Christmas goose and a kid? Christmas geese? It's adorable though. I'm really happy with that. <laughs> and it feels like cotton too. So, yeah, I got two extra Christmas, or we have one extra Christmas fabric. Sweet. And then there are, well, it's two pieces of the same fabric. Um, it feels like a heavier canvasy type material, almost like denim. Um, and it's this floral print in on a cream background. Um, it's fine. I am not usually a huge fan of general floral prints, but um, I like that it's rather heavy, so I might be able to do some kind of shorts with them. I might be able to do 
apron. Um, I don't know. But it feels cot like light cotton and it feels it feels really good. So I will probably end up using it. Yeah. Um, those are all the clothing items for me. And when I say for me, I mean that I got this for my cat. She's going to kill me, but I kind of died when I saw the um, earholes. So she's going to have to suffer for a little bit, but it just made me laugh so much. So poor Ori is just going to have to deal with that. Um, I think I'm going to do dolls last. I got quite a few dolls. Um, I think I got only one brick brick item, and it's these small baskets. Um, they reminded me of a laundry basket for like a dollhouse. And I'm trying to build a dollhouse. That's kind of what this mess behind me back here is. Um, is slowly building a cardboard house, um, but I've not worked on it for about a month now do the various things, so I'm going to have to go back to it, but, um, you know, I've, all, I've still been kind of thinking about what I want the inside to look like, and I thought it would be neat to have, you know, like a laundry basket for a doll, or maybe a few, I don't know. Um, it was two dollars, so that's kind of why I, I went with it. I, you know, even though it's cheap, it's not super cheap, I think I spent about a hundred fifty dollars. At the thrift store today. Didn't intend to, but um, I was looking for some winter clothing because it is starting to get colder and I'm not that well prepared because even though Missouri does get cold and um, the wet kind of cold that just kind of seeps into your bones and stays there, um, it's also felt very variable in the past and less of a deep freeze, and I'm not sure what to expect here in Colorado. So I just wanted to have a few extra things, especially the snowsuit, which, I mean, I'd love to try skiing and stuff. So, you know, it seems like the perfect thing to get. So it was a lot of money for this time. Um, but I'm hoping that these are things that I will be able to use for a long time and not, you know, that are good quality that I wouldn't have to use or have to buy you know, for like $200 for that kind of uh, snowsuit or something, but it doesn't fit me. Anyways. Um, so before I go into dolls, um, I got some jewelry, um, and just kind of jewelry type items. And the first things were these little wooden mice. They're not really jewelry, but my mother had one growing up uh, well I had well, she had one while I was growing up and um <laughs> my nickname was mouse growing up so I just saw these and really felt <laughs> I don't know happy a sense of some nostalgia I suppose um I grabbed them. <laughs> um, the next thing is this um, biohazard necklace. Um, I for some reason really like the biohazard symbol, um, even though it's difficult to kind of feel like it's okay to like a symbol like that when it's, you know, literally supposed to signify danger. But also symbols change over th over time. I don't know. I thought it looked neat. It was metal. It's on a leather cord. So I went ahead and got it. Um, I also got this um, tiger eye carved cat pendant. Uh, I'm going to replace the cord because it's kind of a nylon-y cord. But I really liked the, um, the kitty cat. And then I got this um, camel pendant pin um, with flowers. I think it's plastic, but it's quite pretty. It's 
so um, in some instances I don't mind when it's, you know, I'd rather it wasn't ivory. <laughs> um, I guess unless it was passed along and it's already been in its form for hundreds of years, but um, you know, it's hard to find that thankfully and I'd rather not add to the problem. So I don't know, I, I like being like be able to have the aesthetic without causing more harm reason I really love thrifting. Um, and the last thing I got were um, this pair of dangling earrings. Like, a little more vintage, I suppose, than I would normally go for. Um, but I thought it was quite beautiful. Um, just the flowers, the, la the lattice detail, the, you know, kind of yellowish stone. Again, reminds me of the sun, so I, I like it. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can come up with any outfits or something with them. I think that is everything. Yeah, I think that's everything that is not dolls. Yes. <laughs> so, one reason this was expensive, um, this trip was expensive, was that there were two packs of dolls that I got, of three dolls each, that were ten dollars each. And... Normally, I feel like that's expensive, and I shouldn't do it. But there were two dolls, one in each pack, of course, that I've been looking for for a long time. And one of them was the Superman Returns Ken. Um, it's hard to find them on eBay. I kind of had to pick him up. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him yet. I might keep him as is, because I really... Even though I wasn't a huge fan of Superman Returns, I did really like Brandon Ruth as Superman. Um, I felt like he was a really good successor to Christopher Reeves. So having a Superman doll that can stay as Superman seems great. Um, having one that can stay as Superman, of course, implies that I have one, and I do. So that's what I get for not being organized. So Superman, my first one, the king. <laughs> because I really liked the Batman series as a teenager and decided to make my own. He was, he's actually my first ever custom. I didn't do anything to his face. Um, his face is still... Come on. The mask fits too well. You're not supposed to see. It's, it's still, you know, the original Superman, as you can see. But I, I don't know. I felt like the Mattel... Even though the... Um, Sculpting is modeled after Brandon Ruth. It's different enough from him that I kind of see him more as Bruce Wayne than than Superman. But um, it's I'm so happy to have him <laughs> to have an extra one. Um, now I might feel a little braver about maybe actually customizing him, like painting his face. Um, and I'm, I'm planning to do a full redo of this custom um, early next year, kind of in March in time for. Um, just kind of Batman's anniversary, yearly anniversary. Uh, so I was, you know, getting ready for this, and um, it's just nice to know that I have another Superman now, so I don't have to worry about <laughs> messing him up too much. Um, the other two dolls from the same pack as Superman were um, not ones I really wanted, but um, I have them anyway. Um, there's this uh, Mattel Cinderella. Um, have a, I have at least one other Mattel Cinderella. Um, I don't think I'll be using a Mattel Cinderella to make my own Cinderella doll, but I do like the different sculpts and the more beautiful sculpts of the old um, Mattel Disney dolls, so I'm not upset about having another one. Um, and then I do not know who this guy is, I swear. Um, I'm assuming some kind of boy band. I don't know. I might customize him. I might sell him. I'm not sure. But there's this guy. I mean, it's not his fault that I don't know him. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay, so the other set um, from that same thrift store that I really, really wanted um, included, also from Superman Returns, Lois Lane. I had this one too when I was younger. But I gave her away because I was like, well, she's not as articulated as I'd like, so I'm just 
I just don't need her. And then I really missed her because she's a really beautiful and unique face sculpt. And I would love to customize her as far, you know, even if it's not really re repainting her face, but it's just like sticking her on a made to move body. So I saw her and I was just like, $10 is totally worth it. She's also super hard to find on eBay. Okay. Um, and here is a Hannah Montana doll. I do know this one. Um, she's in better condition than ones I've seen. So there's, there's that. And she also has, you know, a full outfit. I don't know. I'm not, I mean, as far as music goes, I'm more of a, like, eclectic or classic rock sort of person. So I don't usually, I'm not usually a fan of bands that have dolls typically of them, I suppose. Not, not really. And it's not really so much that I just dislike them. It's more just I haven't had much experience with them. So. Oh, she has some juice in her batteries left. Probably should replace them to see what happens. And then last in this bag is this older, um, 19... 1990s Barbie, which, I don't know, there's something about the 1990s Barbie that, I mean, I grew up in the 90s, so I guess I just have some nostalgia there. Okay, so I found more dolls. One pack included this doll, who's from Carnival Cruise, um, and weirdly, is so she just pretty much is a Barbie knockoff, but um, I've weirdly seen some of these dolls kind of floating around eBay, and I've kind of been low-key curious about, oh, be neat to to see how different those knockoff dolls that are coming from cruises and stuff. So I thought that was kind of neat. But the reason I picked up that pack was for this doll. I was so thrilled to see her. Um, she's uh, from the Sydney Olympics, Sydney 2000 Olympics. Um, and she has all of her accessories. She has her boots, she has her vest, she has her hat, and she's beautiful, absolutely beautiful doll. And I was, so thrilled to find her. Um, she's also one of kind of the mooking around for on eBay, um, but again, expensive and just kind of, I don't know if I want to spend that right now, but um, I think Doll Junk shared with me where I think it was like spending a hundred fifty million dollars on an integrity deal. Ugh, no, never. And then you see, you know, spending a billion dollars on thrift store dolls. Yes, of course, yes, I take my money, please. And I feel like that's very much the case. Um, very, very highly relate. So next I have four more packs. Yeah, I got a lot of dolls. This Rugrats Angelica. Um, she's not my favorite type of doll because she's a gimmick type doll. Um, but I thought she might be fun to customize and try to make into a less horrified, this doll has seen things type of doll. Um, and her hair is in really good condition. So... I was pretty, uh, not that I could feel it through the bag, but it, I just noticed it's in good condition. So there's Angelica. And then in the same pack is uh, probably a Barbie fashionista, I guess. It's kind of dirty. Oh, she is dirty. Yeah, someone tried to color her hair probably with black marker or paint. It looks like acrylic paint. But um, I don't have this face mold and uh, she's pretty. So a welcome addition to my collection. I'm really stunned by this one. This Ariel. One of the first Ariels. <laughs> Which is amazing to me. She's just sitting there at the thrift store. It's cool to know what dolls have been made and how different designers and companies have approached different designs. So I also like collecting different dolls from that aspect. So having this different Ariel is... Also, you know, also fulfills that. And then she came with another Barbie, I think, from the 80s. Um, I have several of these now, so I'm going to probably go through and figure out what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to customize all of them. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Presuming someday there will be more dolls that I want to call. Okay, um, in this next bag, um, there's this Kira from the 80s, I believe, yeah, um, and she's beautiful, uh, but I did collect, I did get her because she came with this guy, 
I don't know what this doll is. I think it's probably like a more cheap brand type of doll, but he's fully articulated, which I don't, and I don't know what he is. And I thought it was really cool. Uh, this is the one weird thing about him is his head is super soft. So I don't know. I might have to re-sculpt him or something, but I, I mean, I'm not going to turn down an articulated body. Okay, last bag. Um, so the first one, um, I really wasn't as excited about, but she is beautiful and she has everything but her shoes and she is, she is beautiful. So I think this is a holiday Barbie. I'm not sure what year she's from. I want to say something like 2007 or something. I don't know. I... If I know it, I'll put it somewhere on the screen. But, uh, her hair is still in great condition. I'm, I was pretty stunned that it's just sitting in a bag in a, in the first store. But the reason that I picked her up especially was because of this doll. And I don't know who she is exactly. But she has pointed elf ears. Which you don't see on a lot of Barbie models. So... And an unusual face paint, so I really want to find out if she is part of some of the fantasy lines, because I love those lines so much. And I really, really would love to have some, um, so finding her with elf ears at a thrift store was just, oh, I must have. So. <sighs> That's everything. That is all my stuff that I got today. I ended up with 14 dolls today. Well, I'm very happy with the, the finds. Um, I'm also... Jesus. I bet the sound is going to be so great. Um, I'm also just kind of ready to hunger down and planning on not to thrift for a while. Just work through my stuff, make some things. Um, but hopefully, uh, I will take heart from making a vlog or a thrift haul and film some of that too. Bye-bye.